What is up everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this warm, rusty orange eyeshadow look only using colors from the Kylie Cosmetic Bronze Palette. Starting off with a bare face, I put Dr. Papa's Original Balm all over my face and Burt's Bees Chapsticks on the lips. So I'm going to show you guys kind of my full eyebrow routine. So lucky you, I just am brushing through my eyebrows and first filling them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in soft brown and I start from the bottom of my arch and work my way outwards then come to the front of my brow and I just use small strokes because you're obviously recreating the look of hairs and then I go to the front I just do little strokes going upwards and then I go back to the outwards part and just keep filling it in. Then I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Brown Powder Duo Set and I just am setting that with an angled brush from MAC and I just like to set any kind of gel that I use with a powder because it really makes the color stay longer. So yeah, just setting that gel brow pencil with this powder. It makes your brows so much darker and so much more defined. I love it. I'm really weirdly particular about my brows. They have to look like a certain way. Then I'm going to set those with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to make them stay in place and not move anywhere. Alright, so whatever foundation you're going to use, this is kind of my trick I guess. So you're going to take a um, flat brush and you're going to take that foundation and outline your eyebrows with that color. And then, I, yeah, so I start from the outside. Then I go underneath the inside, make a thin line, and then I'm gonna drag that down and blend it onto my eyelid, kind of as a base for eyeshadows. But this honestly just defines your brows so well. You will have the best brows ever if you do this. Like, they're so defined, they honestly look perfect, but like not too painted on in that type of way. So yeah. And I'm just going to go in with the foundation that I'm using today, and it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. And I'm in the color 3.0. It's a little dark for me right now because it's winter. My skin hasn't seen the sun in a hot minute. But that's okay. We'll match it to our neck later. So going in with the Urban Decay Color Corrector in yellow, I'm just going to blend that in with the Beauty Blender to highlight underneath our eyes and get rid of those dark circles. And then I'm just going to go in with the concealer and that is in the color Warm Light. And then I'm going in with a darker concealer which is just going to be my cream contour. I put that in a rainbow over my forehead, underneath my cheekbones and jawline and just blend that in with the beauty blender. Then taking the Ben Nye Translucent Fair Powder, I'm just baking underneath my eyes. It's an amazing translucent powder, you guys, for baking underneath your eyes. I know a lot of YouTubers that use this, and it's so cheap. It's great. So using the Laura Mercier Face Powder, I'm just setting my face so when I put on my contour, it doesn't look muddy. It goes on a lot smoother if there's already a powder down. So then with my contour, I'm honestly just going over it in the same places that I did my concealer. So the rainbow of my forehead, underneath my cheekbones, and a little bit of my jawline. And then I like to blend it down my cheek a little bit because I hate having a harsh line underneath my jawline. Oh yeah, so I'm blending that down my neck. So then going in with my holy grail blush, which is Well Dressed by MAC. Alright, so now we're going to get into the good stuff, which is the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette. I absolutely love this palette. You can use so many colors to create any look, but today we're just going to use two. So I'm going to take the color Tiger's Eye, and that is going to be our transition color. I'm honestly just blending it into the crease with the MAC 228. I think that's the number of the brush anyway. That could be totally wrong. But I go back into the palette three times, just blending it really well. These eyeshadows honestly blend really nice, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. But yeah, I'm just doing it a few times to deepen the eye. So then I'm taking the color Hematite and I'm packing that onto the lid with this small little shader brush but then I decided that this eyeshadow brush would work a little bit better. 
This is such a gorgeous color, you guys. Oh my God. It brings out the color of any eye, especially blue, green, brown, hazel. It's fucking awesome, okay? I'm like stoked on it. I love it. The only thing is, if you blend over it, the color will come off. So that's why I keep going back and packing it on pretty heavy. So then I'm just blending in between the crease color and the lid color so it's a little bit more softer. So with the excess of the eyeshadow, just bring it below your waterline. Next, I applied mascara, and now I'm going to put on the lashes. I just used the Ardell Wispies, and you guys, can we just... This eyeshadow look honestly makes my eyes a bajillion times more blue. It makes me look tan, which I love. So yeah, I love it. So now I'm going in with that brow pencil that I was using earlier and just doing some faux freckles. I actually have freckles, but I put on such heavy makeup you can never see them. So then going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit Malibu, I'm putting that on my lips today. I love this lip kit, it's my absolute favorite. And then after that, this look is totally done. I hope you guys liked it. And no joke, right after this clip, my camera like dies and I don't know if it's broken or not. But yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. I will see you still next Sunday, uploading every Sunday. Bye guys!